What is the most OP build for Marianne in Fire Emblem Three Hopes? I finally got my wish! I created a build with ice that is completely broken. The way I like to test my builds is I put them against the highest level prologue called Eagles, Lions, and Deer on Maddening Difficulty. The enemies on this mission are about 5 to 10 times more tanky than all the other enemies in the game. It doesn't help that every single commander on this mission is as powerful as a major boss enemy. So due to the difficulty, sometimes the build I create does pretty well, and other times it struggles with the bosses at the end. Other times I actually lose the battle altogether. This build is capable of not only clearing the stage, but clearing it fast. If that wasn't enough, we also have the ability to keep our enemies frozen pretty much the entire time. I present to you... Marianne the Frozen Prison. Our class for the build is going to be Mortal Savon. Due to the Blood Gain Sword, there's really no choice but to pick a sword class for Marianne. This sword is completely bonkers. Wit Strike calculates all of our damage based on our magic stat, and Subversion causes a drastic crit chance increase when using magical attacks. I tested this out on combat arts, and based on my findings, this does not apply to them. Blood Gain comes with a crazy powerful ability called Beast Fang, but we'll get to that in a moment. Our accessory is going to be their Aslepius or Mage Staff for Expert Wizardry, and our battalion of choice is Cavalry. As for our Beast Fang combat ability, it hits hard. It doesn't even need the effects from Blood Gain. It also keeps us topped off, which is necessary if you want to stay alive with this build. Missing a Beast Fang twice in a row could actually mean you popping a healing item, so be careful and land this ability. As for the second one, you're probably thinking, why Blizzard? Aren't there stronger spells? Yes, there are. Blizzard is here for a few reasons. The first is Blizzard allows us to freeze enemies in place. This way, you can get close and personal and hit them with Beast Fang. The second reason is I hate Fimbulvatar. Its damage is only a little better than Blizzard at the cost of weird spell positioning when using Ice Essence. When you do figure out how to land it properly, it's just awkward. If we opt for Ice Blade instead, we end up wasting Blood Gain's second ability, which leads to less damage than weak old Blizzard. Moving on, this crest only gives us a 10% proc for strong attacks, so the only real thing that this crest is used for is giving us a full-powered Blood Gang. Marianne has three unique abilities. Slow Slip, which rains down ice orbs from the sky, damaging enemies on the way down. This ability only activates when above a hit count of 150, and speeds up as the hit count increases. Animal Friend greatly restores HP at regular intervals, which is another important part of this kit. Make sure you have a mounted ally nearby or set one up as her adjutant. Beast Fang does a really good job at keeping you healed, but it's a tad short. This ability will do the rest. Reverence reduces damage received by 50% when ordered to defend. The class ability Sword Fair boosts your crit when using a sword, while Axe Buster does 95% extra damage against axes. Now onto our abilities. Make sure to watch to the end to learn where I got them. Sword Prowess boosts our damage by 30% when wielding a sword. Wild Abandon greatly increases damage dealt at the cost of increasing damage received. Life Force also greatly increases our damage dealt, but this time at the cost of losing health with each combat ability or spell casted. Normally this would be impossible, to sustain, but between Beast Fang and Animal Friend, you can stay pretty healthy without much worry. Range Master increases our range, which is always a good thing. Boost Critical boosts our crit chance some more, while Essence of Ice evolves our ice abilities into more powerful variants. This affects Ice, Combat Arts, Magic, Strong Attacks, and Class Actions. Fiendish Blow increases the power of your elemental effects, which means the status effect itself. Normally, this is a pretty good ability, but when using it for Ice, it's crazy OP! Enemies stay frozen for what feels like forever. Fourth Thought restores our Warrior and Awakening gauges when using Combat Arts or Spells. Burst of Resolve restores Awakening Gauge based on our crits, and finally Battle Instinct increases the fill rate of both the Warrior and Awakening gauges until one of them is completely full. Now let's talk stats. The most important stat for this build is your magic, your dex, and your speed. You want to have as close to maxed magic as possible while attempting to get both your dex and speed over 90. I figured out what you want to level Marianne as to get as close to these desired stats as possible. 
Level her 40 times as a trickster to get both your decks and speed reasonably high, then switch to Grimmery for the last 80 levels. Your magic stat should land just below cap, a couple stat boost items away. Your decks and speed should be anywhere between 75 and 90. If you don't quite get all those stats, it's fine. Your magic is the most important stat anyways. Marianne's playstyle is pretty simple, but it has a bit higher of a skill floor than normal. Meaning if you start missing beast fangs, you're going to struggle a lot more with this build. You run into battle and cast your blizzard to freeze all the enemies in front of you. Then position yourself just right for the best beast fang that you could do. When you use your blizzard, you're going to lose a small portion of health. Beast fang will give some of that health back. As I said before, this isn't perfect, so Animal Friend is going to keep you topped up. Of course, you could use either your Awakening or Warrior specials at your own discretion, but the core gameplay loop is Blizzard into Beast Fang and Repeat. Marianne's damage actually gets just as high as Yuritsa, just with some better range and the added benefit of freezing your enemies in place for all eternity. As far as where we learned each ability, Sword Prowess comes from Myrmidon, Mercenary, and Thief, Wild Abandon from Brigand, Life Force from Mage, Range Master from Holy Knight, Boost Critical from Bishop, Essence of Ice and Fiendish Blow from Warlock, Forethought and Burst of Resolve from Trickster, and Battle Instincts from Bow Knight. Let me know what character you want to see in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more.